Good afternoon, everybody. Anthony here, coming to you again from the Tactics of Toys headquarters, aka my house. Um, I got the chance to go sourcing a couple times this week, and I thought I'd do a picking video. Um, I went out on Wednesday to a local thrift shop uh, looking for basically fodder. Um, it's stuff that's real quick to list, really quick to list, really quick to take pictures of. And basically, I just stockpile them in my drafts. Those days where I do not get a chance to list items, so I have stuff ready to go. Because if you sell on eBay, one of the things you need to know is that if you're not listing, your account tends to go stale. At least that's what everyone says. So, and the more items you put out, the better chance you have to sell. So, at least if I have things ready to go, and I can't list because of work obligations, military obligations, family obligations, I just go into my draft and hit list, list, list. So, I'm going to show you a few things I found. Um, nothing is real high dollar volume, nothing really high dollar. So if it sits, if it doesn't sell, I'm not out a lot of money either. So the first thing I got are, uh, well, it's going to be backwards to you, but it's lost seasons one and two. Uh, they, I checked them over. The one has a little bit of a crack in the case, but all the discs looks like they haven't been touched. Not even a fingerprint on them. Uh, that made me happy. So I'll get them. I, uh, I have them going to list them up separately. They're not going to bring a lot of dollars. Nothing here I'm going to retire on. Um, the other one is this uh, tie. Uh, I don't do clothing most of the time, but I liked it because it was patriotic. And since I am in the military, and uh, this kind of stood out. It's from uh, Sierra Elite. Uh, it is silk. It is made in Italy. Uh, the other one is this. Now, this actually says... Um, Remove before flight. Uh, these are these little red things uh, that aircraft and spaceships and stuff have on them that you have to take away before they fly. They used to be really, really coveted to use as a keychain. Now I think somebody's making them in mass for sale. Uh, so this was three pictures, uh, no description, just what it was, and uh, you know, under five dollars plus shipping. And well, I guess I underpriced it because it sold in 24 hours. So I got to pack that up and ship it away. Uh, the other one is a Christmas Treasures DVD. It is Christmas Stories, The Beverly Hillbillies, Lucy Show, Petticoat Junction, all the Christmas episodes. Uh, Cheers, Love American Style, Mark and Mindy. I figure a couple dollars here or there. I mean, I'm in under 50 cents per item that I'm showing you right now. Uh, the other one is Blu-ray and Napoleon Dynamite. This is new in the package. Uh, this sold last night, so so much for fodder. I have to pack it up and ship it. I have three U.S. Air Force Bands of the Golden West uh, CDs. Uh, the Commanders... Um, oh, sorry, that's not one of them. This one, that, and that. Uh, these are all the Air Force Bands, the Blue Yonders and uh, that. and They're going to... Real quick, once again, two pictures. I'm going to lock them up in just one thing because... Not too many people buy CDs anymore. Everybody just downloads crap. But I also have the Stars of Christmas. This one um, I have to hide from my wife so she doesn't take it. Uh, it's got like Doris Day, Eddie Arnold, Eddie Fisher, Perry Como, you know, some of the Andy Williams, the Boston Pops, all doing Christmas songs. The other one's another lot upset. Uh, these are all new in package. Uh, these are Chris Angel card deck dice and two collector's edition, limited edition poker chips. Uh, once again, it'll be a one big lot. I'm, I think all three of those may have cost me thirty cents, forty cents, uh, with everything combined. So, great. Uh, the other thing, same shop I found. Uh, this is not fodder. This, these are Gore-Tex lined Rocky boots uh, by Rocky Outdoor Gear. Uh, soles are in great shape. I think they look like they've been worn once or twice, but that's about it. There's very little wear on them. Oh, excuse me. And then a set of Bellevilles. Sorry, wait, hang on a second. Let's let's just see the logo there. A set of Belleville. Now these are well, they look new. They got a little bit of grit on the bottom, so they're not perfectly new, but I don't think they've been worn a whole lot. The um the Gore-Tex lined winter boots are are not they're heavy, so they're not worn on a regular basis. Uh, trust me, I talked from experience on this one. Anyway, that was Wednesday. 
Now, I went on Saturday, uh, yesterday, the, I don't know what Saturday's date was, but uh, November 2nd. Uh, my favorite antique mall, the Grist Mill, was having a 30 to 50% off sale every bender. So I went in, and after we de-decorated from Halloween and packed everything away, I told the wife, you want to go? She said, no. So I went out on my own, and i um, show you what I got. Uh, I will save the, the, the most interesting for last. Uh, first thing I got was a book. And I don't do a lot of books, but sometimes they're just at the right price and the right subject matter. This one is The Adams Family and Evolution. Once again, I'm sorry that you're seeing all this in reverse. And, uh, you know, at least it's got an Amazon resale rate of about $30 right now. And that's probably going to drop because you know, Halloween's over and the Adams Family movie kind of a th is, a, is a thing of the past at the moment. But, um, you know, I'll get something out of it. Pause one second. Still digging. All right. All right. The next thing is a Waterford Waterford Christmas ornament. It is a uh, Santa, and uh, he's like six inches or seven inches tall. And this booth had them at, at half off, so I'm about. You know, I'll tell you how much I'm in on the Waterford Crystal one. Or the Waterford Santa. Um, $10.50. There is a listing on eBay for $70. Not going to get $70 for it, but, you know, I figure if I turn around and bump it for $50, maybe I can blow it out the door quick. Maybe I get it for $40, but I'll definitely get my money out of this. Um, I have a handful of Venom comics. or I'm sorry, not a handful. Like three Venom comics and a, a Turok number one. Uh, one of the Venom comics, according to a comic book, or the database that's on my comic book shop, or my comic shop, uh, in mid-grade condition, or mid to high grade, I'm talking, well, high grade, like over a nine, uh, was a hundred and something dollars. Whatever it is, that's, uh, I'm going to have to look it up before I list it, make sure I price it competitively. And then, um... And the, one of the women who works there, she knows me well enough because I come in and I, I buy random things. And um, A couple of months ago, I bought in and cleared out an entire thing of owl brooches. And I'm down to my last five or six. And uh, most were vintage. And she told me the woman whose booth it was restocked and they were 50% off. So, uh, well, let me, I'll start with, she had more owls. So I picked up a couple of the owls. Uh, at least the ones that were named. Uh, have this one here. It is a uh, amber jelly belly owl, definitely vintage. I didn't get out the the small glass loop or the jeweler's loop to see if there's a 24 karat mark on there, uh, but it it is a signed item. Uh, next we have. This owl, and this was just, I thought it was just really cool looking. Uh, it's also a signed one. And I believe it was a Trafari item. And, um, I'll have to double check on that one with a, because I'm going to need a little magnifying glass. Everything is so small in these things. And, you know, when you're north of 45, your eyes don't, aren't quite the same. And then there was this one. This is a gold tone with a enamel filler. This was just, I found it kind of eye-catching. Uh, I dig owls. I think owls are really cool animals. And next to owls were was this. A Pegasus brooch. Big and obnoxious, as you can see. It's, yeah, it's in the palm of my hand right now. Uh, it's brass or bronze. Uh, it's got the initials JJ on it with a copyright. And the, the tips of the wings are in gold um, glitter. You know, God, I hate glitter, but it all holds together, so I'm not worried. And then last but not least, I had actually was carrying this thing around, and I put out a message to one of the reseller Facebook groups I belong to, saying, um, they got this at 50% off, this is the price, 
What do you think? And a couple of people said buy it. It is a plush Rastafarian guy. He's about 24 inches tall. He fixes his hat. He's got some issues, some cosmetic issues. He is got some marks over here. He's got some marks on his clothes. Uh, it is made by, but it's got its hang tag. It's made by Shalom Toys out of Brooklyn, New Jersey. Or Brooklyn, New York, excuse me. Sorry about that. Uh, he's smoking a fatty. He's rolling a fatty. He's got the dreads. He's got the, the hat. Now, the hat's got a tear in it, which there's really not much I can do about it. I can't sew this properly to be able to fix it. Uh, and he's stuffed with that kind of filling that you would get at, like, a carnival. You know, I don't know if you can hear that or not, but... I think I may do all right with this one. Uh, if not, I'm out $11, so I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. Um... But that's it. That's what I got. That was my haul from the two days. And I uh, hope you enjoy watching. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. Um, and if you want to see more, you know, hit the thumbs up still. And uh, subscribe. And pass it on. Pass my information on out. Ugh, sorry. Blanked for a second. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Tactics of Toys. Home Base out.